So, ladies and gentlemen, from now till March 29th of 2025, we have the triple transit of Rahu, Jupiter and Saturn in the sign of Scorpio. So, wherever there is Scorpio, all the three planets are aspecting. And today, we shall discuss five things which you should do. And these five things will cover your career finances, your love life, personal developments, uh, your health and whatever is there under the roof. All right. So we'll do this for every ascendant and if you're new then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you enjoy this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up and for personalized consultations don't forget to visit my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So now let's get going for Aries. This transit is in your 8th house. Scorpio is in your 8th house. So for career and finances you should uh, have you should try to get some uh, unexpected gains. Now, or if you get it's fine. If you don't get that's okay. But maybe you might get. You know depending on your dasha. Especially if your dasha is of the 11th house. Then you might have gains through you know. Inheritance, investments or insurances. Okay. Now this is a good time to uh, see uh, what your investment strategy is. Especially okay. This is very 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 important and. Be a bit cautious with risky investments. This could be problematic sometimes. And don't take too much debt, okay? It could be dangerous for you. Now, in terms of your wealth, you could have different opportunities through um, unknown sources, you know, like uh, unknown in the sense which, become, which come to be known. But it is a bit unpredictable. So maybe there is some idea in your mind which you want to implement, but you have not implemented. So maybe you implement it and you get some money through that okay some online business or it could be anything you know research or occult sciences you know some kind of maybe you can become an astrologer and consult people all right so research could give you a lot of gains and uh, be a bit careful about unexpected losses okay this could also be there now in terms of your love and family life uh, you could try to deepen your existing relationships with your uh, intimate people like you know your spouse your parents your uh, children and your friends also. And it's a good time to resolve past issues with your family. Okay, And uh, only caution is there could be misunderstanding. So you need to be a bit uh, conscious about it. Okay, So there could be some disruptions in your personal life. Now in terms of health, you could have a lot of opportunities. Like you know, you could focus on holistic health. And uh, you might focus on improving your mental health. Okay. Uh, be cautious of chronic illnesses and also you might have stress related issues so have a good sleep don't forget that right now uh, for personal growth this is a great time to do meditation and uh, experience transformation through self-discovery and exploring spirituality uh, one caution is to avoid uh, obsessive behavior and try not to confront others unnecessarily and try to stay away from drinking smoking and other bad habits all right take care ladies now for Taurus, this transit is in your 7th house, 7th house of career and finances. So in terms of opportunities, you know, you could have partnerships and collaborations that could bring immense financial growth. So don't forget to do collaborations if you are a YouTuber or you are in Instagram <laughs> or otherwise also. Now this is a great time for business expansion because the 7th is the 10th from the 10th, Bhavad Bhavan of the 10th house. So it's a great placement actually. Now, uh, only thing you need to be careful is before you sign any contract, okay, and make sure there is transparency in dealings. Get your facts right. Now, in terms of wealth, uh, your wealth could increase through joint ventures, okay. Maybe you could invest some money with your spouse, you know, together. And uh, be careful of legal issues, financial disputes, and uh, try to see if you are wealthy, you can do, you know, mergers and acquisitions and all this, okay. So try to do collaboration and grow with the money of other people also all right now in terms of your love life family life uh, this could be a period where you strengthen your bonds or your bonds could be a bit shaken also of your married life depending on what dasha you are running okay so therefore there are there is a potential of uh, taking the relationship to the next level in a positive way or uh, your relationship could suffer okay if things are not very great so it depends on what you are running in your dasha and try to avoid manipulation in relationships now in terms of your health uh, it could be 
that you are a bit obsessed with your appearance and of what other people are thinking about you. So try to make a balance between uh, you, your own conception of yourself, you know, your self-esteem and, you know, if sometimes other people pass comments on you or your appearance, don't take it too seriously. And make sure uh, you don't give in to too much stress and anxiety, okay? Now, in terms of personal growth, uh, it is important that you now try to uh, understand other people and also work on your interpersonal relationships, okay? So, uh, you could, uh, you should uh, avoid jealousy and, you know, possessiveness uh, beyond a certain extent. And also, you should understand that everybody will have their needs, interests and concerns, okay? So, if you feel that your relationship with somebody is important but it's not working, maybe you need to try to see the world from their perspective also. So therefore, you need to understand that negotiation is the key uh, if you want to maintain good relationships, all right? So focus on yourself and on your relationships and you will be successful, Taurus, okay? All the best. Now, for Gemini, this is in your sixth house. Scorpio is in the sixth house. So this is a great time for a new job, you know, recognition through hard work, diligence, you know. Uh, try to avoid conflicts with colleagues and try to maintain work harmony. This is important. So for wealth, you know, you can have financial growth, but through discipline uh, and uh, disciplined investing, okay? And try to not take too many debts and loans and all this, not, not the best period for you now. And there could be some unnecessary expenses which could come and, you know, there could be requirement of proper financial management. So if you cannot manage your money, then best is to hire a financial planner, okay, for you, uh, wealth manager otherwise you could lose a lot of money okay now for your love life family life uh yeah not the best period so you might have some conflicts or quarrels with your family members and your spouse especially but don't worry uh it is also a period where you can actually improve your uh, domestic harmony by resolving conflicts so so maybe there is some court case going in your family uh, where there is some amicable settlement, okay? So try to avoid misunderstanding and uh, maintain clear communication. Be assertive, be direct, but at the same time be sensitive, all right? And sensible. <laughs> now, for your health, um, you need to focus on your physical fitness. No, no compromise with that. Sixth house is the house of diseases. And have a disciplined health regime, okay? And... Focus on exercise uh, and proper eating or there could be, you know, chronic illnesses or small accidents and all this. So be, be, be on your guards when you are doing some exercise, you know, wear a nice shoe that fits and yeah. And in terms of personal growth, Sixth House, as you know, is a great place for doing sadhana. So you can do spiritual practices regularly. Try to do things consistently, okay? This is very important. And uh, the other thing that you need to avoid is to be too much self-critical and uh, to be self-critical of not only yourself but also others, all right? So do your best and let others be themselves, okay? So focus on your health and your discipline and you will do fine, all right? All the best, Gemini. Now we go to Cancer. What's going on, Cancer? This transit is in your fifth house. So for career and finances, this is a great period for doing something creative and uh, getting money out of your creative work, you know, your creative self-employed work on the side. It could also give you gains through speculative investments like, you know, stock market trading and all this, provided your Mahadasha Antardasha agrees, okay? So avoid gambling and other speculative tasks. And uh, in terms of wealth generation, uh, there could be gains through some innovative ideas, you know, some innovative investments, you know, you could invest in sectors which are trendy and, you know, which are in demand, okay? And be conscious of your financial judgments and out of overconfidence and happiness, don't uh, do things which you regret later, okay? Now, in terms of your love life, this is a great period to find somebody if you're single or if you are in a relationship, it's a great period to deepen your existing bond okay and especially with children if you are married and you have children that's a great period or if you are married and you want to have children this is also a great period and try to avoid miscommunication misunderstanding and emotional outbursts okay so you might like 
blast on somebody. So make sure you control that. Now, in terms of health, this is a great period for healing. All right, no, nothing else to discuss, but 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 healing. So if you have any problems in your body, go for holistic healing. You know, try allopathy, Ayurveda, homeopathy, whatever works, and heal yourself holistically. Okay. And also, you have to know that you can't just heal yourself by becoming physically fit. You have to be mentally, intellectually, socially also, and spiritually, most importantly, fit. So, try to reduce your stress and emotional uh, health also should be taken care of. Okay. So, in terms of personal growth, this is a great period to chant mantras and do spiritual practices. It's a great period to take initiation from a spiritual master if that's the need of the hour and if you are qualified. And then try to be more creative, indulge in hobbies, uh, which are good for you. Uh, but avoid self-indulgence and uh, don't take too many impulsive decisions, okay? So therefore, you should weigh in your logic and your interests both combined, all right? So don't go to one of the extremes and you will do fine, right? All the best, Cancer. Now we go to Leo. So for Leo, what's going on? This transit is in your fourth house. Fourth house, as you know, is a very important house. It's one of the Kendra houses. So, in terms of career and finances, uh, you could go for buying a property or buying a vehicle. So, investing in real estate can be extremely fruitful. All right. But make sure you don't do uh, property purchase because, you know, you need to impress somebody. This is a danger, okay? Or because everybody is telling you to buy a house, you know, you just go and buy and whenever you are buying something, make sure you uh, do proper research about that house or about that car, you know, and avoid buying disputed things. It may be cheaper uh, in the first appearance, but it may be very deceptive in the long run. Okay? So, make sure you are buying good property only, even if it is small and not very expensive. Or even if it is expensive, but make sure it's a good one. Okay? Now, you can get financial stability through real estate and if your 8th house, 11th house is indicated in Dasha, you might get, you know, some property from your parents or in-laws also, you know, as inheritance. And make sure that you keep some money aside for home repairs, okay? So you might need some uh, money, there might be some renovations. Or if your Dasha is bad, then there could be struggles uh, in regards to your ancestral property, you know, who gets what, you know, financial disagreements in the family, all these things could be there. Now, this is a great period for your love life, family life, uh, provided your dasha is good enough, uh, because this is a period where you can improve your fa family relationships and you can resolve past conflicts, okay, very, very, very important. And make sure that you try to make peace in the family, okay, so there could be some... Uh, Domestic tensions and emotional upheavals could be there. It's a possibility. Now, in terms of health, this is very important for you. Uh, but uh, especially in terms of your mental health, okay? So try to focus on your mental well-being and create a peaceful environment at your home. You know, read a book and uh, switch off the lights before you sleep at least half an hour or have a dim light. <laughs> Do meditation a uh, bit of. Uh, seclusion is also good for you. So, there could be stress-related issues uh, in your family, okay? So, maybe in your family, somebody is having some stress and, you know, you have to work that out, okay? So, for you, in terms of personal growth, you need to do more meditation and introspection and understand family dynamics. So, for you, the focus should be in your family, okay? Avoid being too controlling and too stubborn. So, focus on your family members, your own happiness and real estate and your house, all right? And vehicles, all right? All the best, Leo. Now we go to Virgo. Virgo, this is in your, oops, victory. <laughs> Number three, sorry. <laughs> Our house, a great house. This is thumbs up, Virgo, thumbs up. So for career finances, opportunities to grow through communication, writing, networking, great time to use your courage and start some new venture. Make sure you communicate properly and read the document 10 times before signing, all right? Avoid conflicts with your siblings, neighbors, or acquaintances or colleagues, okay? Now, you might have a lot of financial growth through short travels and networking. So, try to go to networking events and, you know, short business trips. Avoid unnecessary travel expenditure. 
and avoid miscommunication. So get your facts right before you argue with somebody online, especially. All right. And be prepared. If you have a presentation, you might face tough questions. So be prepared for that. Now, in terms of your love life, it's a great period to strengthen your relationships uh, with your siblings uh, and your other family members also and your loved ones and your spouse especially. So this is a time where you understand each other's perspectives, okay? But try to avoid misunderstanding and conflicts. This is again <clears throat> important. Now, in terms of your health, now, you might want to do some proper breathing and focus on your respiratory uh, health. Okay, this may be important. And you might also want to check on how much social media you are using daily because, yeah, that could give you a lot of, you know, mental strain. Okay, so not the best. So try to limit your social media usage or track it at least. And try to get freedom from stress and anxiety. This can cause some stress and anxiety. Now, in terms of personal growth, try to learn some new skills and try to expand your knowledge, okay? Avoid being overly critical and argumentative. It, it's okay if not everybody agrees with you. They they will never agree and they don't have to be agreeing with you, all right? So understand that everybody is a different individual and people will understand you according to their own perception of reality, all right? So, wish you all the best, Virgo. Thumbs up, great transit. Keep it up. Make the best use of this transit, all right? All the best. Now, for Libra, this transit is in your second house, victory. <laughs> so, lots of opportunities for financial growth, you know, through savings, investments, family assets. Uh, avoid fam uh, financial mismanagement, that is also important. So, if you are shuffling money with, within your assets, you know, from stock market to uh, bank, to crypto, to real estate, then make sure you do you know, it diligently, okay? And there could be some conflicts within your fine, uh, family money. That is also important. So financial planning and investing is very important. So if you are not investing your money, maybe you should try to invest your money now. And you should be mindful of sudden expenditures and financial disputes within your family especially. Okay. And in terms of your love life, family life, uh, this is a great time to improve bonding with your family. With your family, relatives, colleagues, friends, everybody actually. So this is a time where you should focus on your family, okay? Not just your blood family, but people who feel like family, okay? Now, for your health, uh, very important, focus on your dental health, your teeth and your throat also sometimes. Uh, and also sometimes on your eyes, Make sure you are eating right, okay? Because you may have a tendency to eat wrong things or do overeating. And also because of excessive physical work, there will be some strain. So make sure it does not impact your physical health beyond a certain extent. And in terms of personal growth, you should try to understand value of money and value of family, okay? So value both money and family. And uh, you might have a tendency to be overly uh, materialistic or overly possessive sometimes. So make sure that is in control, all right? All the best, Libra. Now, Scorpio, first house transit, number one, first house, right? Index finger. <laughs> all right. So, you can have great opportunities for financial growth. You know, it can lead to new career developments, new opportunities. Uh, you need to be assertive. You need to be uh, bold, confident. You should uh, express your individuality, but without being confrontational, okay? Oh, very important. Now, for wealth generation, you might have to do something like, you know, self-initiated projects and take leadership roles, okay? So maybe do something in social media, YouTube or Instagram. And try to not make financial decisions impulsively, okay? You might be tempted to like put all your money into penny stops, not very good, okay? Now, your love and family life opportunities uh, could come in terms of uh, meeting people, uh, who are not from your uh, background, okay? So you might people meet people who are from a different religion, caste, creed, community. And yeah, it might be a great time to explore different people, explore different cultures, okay? <laughs> and there's a potential for ego clashes and misunderstandings. So make sure you 
do that right okay and most important for you is to focus on your health so health and well-being is essential because first house as you know is the house of your health right so be cautious of your stress levels and don't over exert exert yourself and in terms of personal growth you should focus on for self transformation and self discovery do you know who you are do you know what you like do you know what you want well if not maybe it's the time to figure out all this okay very 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 important scorpio do not forget this and don't be too critical of yourself all right take care scorpio now for sagittarius this transit is in the 12th house okay 12th house is a great house for spiritual practices so in terms of career you might have growth through financial foreign lands you know um, and also you might get money through some spiritual work you know like some you make a app or you, you do some consultation you know where you enlighten people about spirituality so that's how you can become wealthy also one problem is there could be some hidden enemies and there could be financial losses through some unknown means okay so keep some money aside it's the 12th house don't forget so foreign investments and spiritual endeavors would be very important for you and be mindful of hidden expenses and in terms of your love life it would be a great period to find the love of your life if your dasha is indicating the fifth house and you can also go to you know spiritual retreats and you can practice you know forgiveness uh, with your uh, relationships you know? so for example if somebody did something which is which was not the best then maybe you can try to forgive them and you know not you don't have to include them back to your life but maybe you should try practicing forgiveness okay very important so resolve past traumas to whatever extent possible and try to uh, avoid misunderstandings and don't become too much emotionally needy or too emotionally distant okay now in terms of health you might have opportunities to uh, focus on your mental health and spiritual health so more than the physical now your, your mental and spiritual health is uh, should be on priority okay so be conscious and cautious of chronic health problems you know there could be hospitalization or some surgery if your dasha is not the best and most important for you is to do spiritual practices and do introspection and avoid too much escapism uh, and avoid too much isolation okay but if you need if you feel the need for isolation then go and isolate yourself for some time all right so great time for spiritual practices and earning money through foreign lands be careful of your health and expenditure all right take care sagittarius now we go to capricorn ascendant this is victory 11th house <laughs> best 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 transit capricorn thumbs up brilliant congratulations i already know capricorn ascendants doing very successfully now during this transit all right so financial growth can come through you know network circles and uh, fructifying of your long term goals okay very 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 important so try to avoid conflicts with your friends and over reliance on social circles okay so whenever you are going to any social circle go with a mood of uh, contributing not exploiting okay now you might uh, cash out your investments now or there could be you know large group of organizations which may want you to manage their wealth and assets okay but make sure you are careful of financial disputes and mismanagement so do it as per your own level all right so you'll benefit from social circle you can get new job promotion 11th house is fulfillment of desire and in your love life family life it's a great period to find love or you know if you are in a relationship great period to get married or if you are married then great period to have children strengthening your bonds with your family your friends your spouse and your children improve your social connections basically now uh, make sure there are no misunderstandings and conflicts okay there could be some issues with that and in terms of health you know focus on your overall well-being and 11th house the house of healing so if you have any uh, problems in your body try to heal yourself okay and try to focus on community involvement you know go to satsang programs do um, do some social service okay and there could be social obligations which could give you stress okay like this community that community is forcing you to do things so be mindful of that and don't 
don't over promise and under deliver always it's better to under promise and over deliver okay and in terms of personal growth this is a time where you take the next leap so do whatever you want to be successful and you will be successful all right so expand your social horizons meet new people and don't be too stubborn and don't dismiss people because they don't agree to what you say all right take care great period capricorn all the best now for aquarius this is the 10th house scorpio is in your 10th house thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up extremely good transit this is so aquarius great opportunity for working in your profession through hard work and then getting recognition fantastic avoid conflicts with all authority and try to be try not to be overly ambitious okay overly ambitious means like try not to take on projects which you also know deep down inside is not suitable for you but you just take it to prove it to others all right so not the best now in terms of opportunities there could be financial growth through leadership positions promotions you know public recognition awards name fame and uh, your reputation could increase okay so try to have more financial uh, gains try to have transparency remain maintain a good reputation work consistently okay now in terms of your family and love life there could be some challenges to maintain your work life balance okay so that's a challenge so there could be family disputes you know it could be a bit hard on your marriage if your dasha is not good so try to have a balance okay within your family and your job otherwise you could run into uh, potential problems now now uh, this is also a period where you might end up ignoring your health but you should not do that okay so try to have a proper discipline you know like getting up every day morning and uh, doing some yoga surya namaskar going to the gym or doing things which are actually good for your body okay and there could be over over uh, there could be like you know extreme stress because of career so your spouse may complain you have become a workaholic okay so for you the best thing for your personal growth is to fully focus on your profession and get public recognition if you desire so but not at the cost of your personal life so focus your energies in your profession but also take care of your family life all the best last but not the least always we have the sign of pisces <laughs> pisces scorpio is in your ninth house so this transit is in your ninth house so you could have great gains through you know like higher education or travel and your horizon might expand the uh, only thing is you need to avoid legal issues and becoming over confident okay not the best now in terms of wealth uh, you could have gains through foreign investing you know you could uh, teach others how to learn a language you know and by that you can earn money uh, and through other educational pursuits okay and in terms of your love life family life uh, this is the best time to go to some spiritual place with your family members okay so try to strengthen your existing uh, relationships through shared values and interests and uh, there could be some ideological conflicts okay and because of that there could be some misunderstanding so you need to be watchful of that now in terms of health it's a great period to focus on your intellectual health okay physical mental and also intellectual spiritual health so go to different spiritual communities you know travel learn about god learn about the scriptures it will help you uh, but make sure you don't take too much stress about travel and work okay in terms of personal growth this is the uh, period that you are waiting for this is the best time to upgrade yourself so learn more try to understand yourself more get a guide get a counselor get a mentor if you need and uh, travel and explore the world okay and the only thing you should avoid doing is to be overly idealistic and impractical all right because people may say oh you are not in the ground you are in the clouds all right so be somewhere in between all right thank you so much please take care